Hi guys, uh, today I have two new products, or actually one product, but two of them. So this is from a manufacturer called Aprinta Pro. It's a European manufacturer. They have a um, product in here that is designed to help you, basically to help you um, print PLA and print ABS on a bigger surface. So it's, it's an adhesion uh, glue, which means that it's uh, applic applicated on the build plate and it helps your um, um, depending on your raft and everything like that, it, it, it really helps your models to stick on the build surface. So it can be where, for example, if you have a really glossy build plate or you have uh, bad materials or you're using tape all the time that kind of pulls away. So we have machines like the Replicator desktop that doesn't have any heated bed, uh, which means that it, it's, it's pretty prone to warping, uh, even though PLA is really less warpable. If you do some special designs, PLA will still warp a little bit, especially with a lot of cooling. So the idea here is to help you prevent that and uh, also on ABS prints and on most other common materials like uh, PETG and uh, so on, flexible filaments and so on. So let's just open up one of these boxes here. Well, let's open up both of them and see what we have inside. So we have this spray here. It's in a spray bottle. So um, you shake it and it's, um, uh, it sprays for that. So a Printer Pro, it's a adhesion spray, Hoft spray it's also called. Um, it's made for uh, cold plates as well, so you use it on a cold plate, you don't need to have a heated bed, which is uh, really interesting to see on the uh, finder, on the replicators, on the um, a lot of different printers just to, to see how, how it is. Uh, for example, the, the 6 could be interesting to try this on. Anyway, um, it has an adhesion force of around 83 Newton per square centimeter, which is pretty impressive. It takes around 5 seconds to apply, I would say a little bit more. Um, just, just want to smudge it around and uh, if you apply the correct amount it's around 0.11 euros per print so that's a pretty good number which means that even though if this um, cost I'm not gonna go into cost because that can change over time uh, but the cost here is really um, cost efficient so if you have issues you, you should probably try it if you don't well will not so Let's see how we apply this on a build plate and um, let's do some prints with it and see how good it is and what we can do with it. So a few things here, we have a build plate here. Remember, do not apply this inside of the printer since it's probably a little bit sticky and it can probably clog your uh, um, belts and stuff like that. So remove your build plate. In this case, I'm using cold build plate. Let's just clean it off a little bit. Um, I'm just using alcohol or, to do that. And just let it dry a little bit, something like that. And then you should be around 10 centimeters away and do a spray. So you can see the surface is now sprayed. So I think that should be it. I'm gonna do one little more. There we go, it's probably a little bit cloggy. So I'm actually gonna just wipe it around here to make sure that it's evenly covered. I'm, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't do this, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, one more, haha, <laughs> pretty cool. So hope you can see that, hope it's visible for you. And that should be it. Now uh, we're ready to uh, put this in, in the machine. And again, it should be uh, room temperature. So if you have a build plate, um, you shouldn't really pre, uh, preheat it. Uh, sorry, if you have a heated build plate, you shouldn't really preheat it. So let's go, let's put it in the machine and put it to the test. So we're now heating up the Flashforge Finder that has a cold build plate. It has a pretty powerful uh, PLA cooler, so it's prone to warping even with PLA. And let's see here, we're at almost there, 200. And we should be ready to go pretty soon. Let's just take that away. Seems to stick pretty well on pure glass. So I kinda need some light in here. Still looking really good, not, not even a small sign of warping. I think that's pretty impressive. We're now using the, the spray here on the glass plate. I think it looks amazing. We'll check it out from this angle. Oh, that's a little bit difficult, but yeah, you can probably see it. Sorry about the, the super zoom, but it's more or less all I have. So you can see we're printing now the um, wrench. 
which is usually prone to a little bit of warping on some machines, but it looks awesome. I'm excited to see more models. So, and here we are, you can see the finished prints. And there's absolutely no warping, so that's really good uh, result. So let's just uh, make sure that we have everything under control and do a few more prints. Okay, so here is now the finished print on the uh, Flash Arts Finder. It's not the best quality, I kind of pushed it just to so get it uh, done. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of prone to warping, um, but with the uh, Printer Pro, nothing happens. So we're just gonna um, try here to, to peel everything off here. There we go. Oh, it feels perfect. It's good resistance. Okay, so now we want to see how it is compared to not having uh, the uh, Printer Pro on. So I'm just going to clean this off here. Well, actually compared to uh, the taper. So uh, let's go and put, put on our prints. So you can see here now we're printing on the tape. On the back end here, it's uh, getting closer to warping. We'll have to check in a few seconds. Here you can now see how it started to warp. Uh, this is just normal pile on tape. Um, it's because the machine doesn't have a heat bed and it has really good PLA coolers. So that's why we see these kind of issues with uh, non-heated build platforms. You can see here at the end of the, uh, of, of the wrench. I'm actually gonna just try to just show you here that it's a pretty clear gap in between. It's uh, pretty warped, despite on this small volume. So it actually makes a pretty big difference, I would say. And uh, I think it's well worth it, but uh, let's try it on a few other prints as well. Okay, so this is looking really good on the glass plate with the uh, Printer Pro. Uh, but I can see that I kind of missed applying it on the side here. So it's actually getting close to a little bit of warping. Can you see it? Okay, so let's check out the first samples from the Flashwatch Finder that I used a glass plate, no heat, and only the printer fix. So um, let's look at the two models here. You can probably see which one has the glue and which one doesn't, and also waving them for you. Uh, so this one here, uh, just the one with the glue, perfect print, top solid, it's just Mag magnificent. And this one, uh, this we actually use blue painter's tape here, which is um, totally normal standard for PLA, cooler and uh, um, yeah, gloss bed. So you have a flat surface that sticks a little bit better. But the tape here, mm, kind of failless. So as you can see here, I'm going to try to hold it up, something like that. You can see the warping is quite intense. I hope this shadow here will, will make it easier for you to understand the warping effects. So that's the first sample. You can see that it, it kind of solved my, all my issues, so I don't have to worry about any warping on the Flashwatch Finder. However, on the MakerBot Replicator desktop, as I showed you uh, before, the first one I kind of failed the application of the build, uh, sorry, of the uh, print fix. So that didn't really go as planned. You can see here it's really it's really bent, almost like a Bentley. Ha! And here's the one that I applied it much better, but it's still a little bit warping. And I actually do believe that this is after I removed it from the build plate, which is kind of fun artifact. Uh, if you look at the image previously, or I'll show it now as well, you can see that it's uh, much more stable there. So there's a little bit of warping. I'm gonna push down here on one side, and you can see the total warping. Now, since I'm pushing down here, this will look much more intense than it is, but it's still warping. Let's just remove that and do it with the other one as well. But you can see this is, this is way more, way, way, way more. Can I do a comparison here? Ah, not really. Not really, but uh, overall, the, uh, I know it's really difficult to show here, but overall, the, the, the other surfaces became much better as well. You can see there's a little bit sticky that you can remove if you want to. So, that's that. So, as I just showed you in these examples, the, um, uh, the product works really well. It's not for everyone. I would recommend that you use it as a complement to your normal machine. So, if you already have like a good machine that's plugged in, no, sorry, not plugged in, but 
uh, fine-tuned and you have a heated bed, you shouldn't have to worry. Actually, you, you sh should probably uh, success with most of your prints. If you do have a cold plate, uh, like a Replicator 2 that I have just here, uh, I think this is a really good fix to help you with a lot of um, uh, issues that can become of uh, due to warping. So, uh, for example, the Replicator desktop that I printed these on, it's a great compliment because you're gonna fail some prints just because of the warping. Even PLA can warp depending on the quality that you're running. And yeah, I know you should run MakerBots PLA with the MakerBots, but you're not gonna do that, it's so expensive. So, um, with that said, I think that this product is... I shall phrase it like this. You should buy it if you have a demanding product um, production of prints. If you're just doing it for hobby, I think that you can usually survive if you have a heated bed. But if you don't have a heated bed, I think it's a great compliment to make sure that you have that tool in your arsenal in case something happens. You might not use it every time, you might use it for only the biggest possible prints that you have. But when you are failing or you're unsure, it's a great easy application and it works great. Uh, so with that said, I think that you should also check out uh, Thomas Sandler's, sorry I can't pronounce the name, uh, Tom's 3D is a, a big YouTuber, he, he does this full time, he has a great video on his um, commercial build plates comparisons, he's comparing on everything from sprays to, um, uh, to glues and to build, build plates like Pay and Zebra and Builtac and so on. So I'll link his video down below, I think the, that gives you a really good overview of all these type of products. Uh, he also used this at uh, Printer Pro or Printer Fix, uh, but he didn't use any commercially available recipes. I'm not sure if we're using the same. Uh, his video is a few months old now. So I think that I have an updated recipe. Mine works great with, for example, Pet G on cold build plates. So just gonna show you here. I used uh, the uh, Printer Fix pr on the um, glass plate here. You can see that the build tack is actually on this side, so don't get fooled. So here's the glass plates and I'm using just the spray directly on this you can see some of the residues and it works great with a cold machine having a PLA cooler on printing uh, build tech. so <laughs> no it's not printing build tech. it's printing the uh, um, pet G uh, so I think that uh, as I said it's a it's a good product for what it does but not everyone needs one but it's a it, it's good good backup solution so with that said thank you very much I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you success with all your future prints. Either you're using normal Captain tape or using hairspray or using glow or saliva or whatever. If you need this, you probably do need it. So anyway, thank you very much. Have a good night. I have some cool products coming up soon. So uh, make sure you hit me up with some comments and let me know what you think about products like these. What are your solutions? How do you solve the issues that you might have? So, again, thank you. I'll end the video now. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye. Is this now when you do like this with the papers? You know, like the commercial companies, they do like, yeah, yeah, all the, uh, all the news anchors, they're like sitting here with their, with their like stuff like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pretty fun.